Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at Debian testing. Now, I was curious because I've been measuring uh, several distributions lately using the criteria uh, that I showed you uh, in the last few videos, and I wondered how Debian would stack up against some of the other uh, distributions, such as the Arch distributions and the Ubuntu distributions. Now, as I mentioned, the latest Arch distribution and the uh, latest Ubuntu distributions, everything seems to run perfectly, uh, including all of the video streaming services and all of the gaming that I usually install. And so I wanted to see how the Debian testing uh, version of Debian would perform. So I did the install and as you can see, everything uh, went beautifully. I was very impressed. The uh, I'll give you the link for the download that I used. But as you can see, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Netflix. Uh, I've got YouTube set up as an SSB using the ICE program. I've got uh, Steam, as you can see in the in the lower left, in the um, application launcher area of the panel. You can see I have Steam, uh, I've got Battle.net. So there's really, I didn't have any issues whatsoever. And so let's take a look at the statistics on the install itself. So this is a new install. Um, it is Debian testing. I will show you the, I'm going to give you a link to this download, 307 megabytes. This is the net install for testing for 64-bit. There is a dual, if you want a 32-bit, there is a dual uh, install, <clears throat> but um, this is the one that I downloaded and installed. And then once uh, once I had that, then I uh, selected, during the install, you, you will select your desktop environment. You can select uh, multiple if you like. I only installed LXDE. Um, as you can see, I'm running a nice uh, dark theme. I'll show you that information also, but um, it really looks sharp and everything installed very nicely. So I'm going to uh, close this browser window out and get back to the statistics. So I installed it to the same machine that I've been doing all my installs to lately. This is my main machine. It's pretty high end. Um, I built it a couple of years ago. Okay, so during the install, it does not allow you to forego a bootloader install. So what I did is, uh, as I usually do, I've got, right now I've got uh, Anturgos um, controlling the boot process, the grub process. And so during install, if you have the same situation, all you do is elect the grub bootloader to be installed to the same petition that you're installing Debian to. When it asks you if you want to install to the MBR, you're going to say no, <clears throat> unless, unless that's what you want. But if you're like me and something else is controlling your boot process, then you uh, will just elect to install it. You'll, you'll select the manual mode and you'll just plug in the uh, device name for, for the petition that you want to install to. So that went fairly smoothly. Now during install it did not pick up my Wi-Fi dongle or my Broadcom so I had to use Ethernet. Um, it offered to pull the drivers in for my dongle but I didn't have them available and without Wi-Fi uh, it's kind of impossible so uh, I just elected to plug in my Ethernet cable and and do the install that way the install takes a little bit longer than than other distributions it took 18 minutes and 29 seconds but keep in mind this is a net install so it's pulling almost everything over the internet through my Ethernet cable. So 
Uh, that's why it takes a little bit longer because there's a lot less information on the USB. Boot time is very quick, seven seconds. Now the default kernel for the Debian testing package is 4.7.0-1 and of course I'm running the 64-bit kernel. RAM usage was 326 megabytes. That is outstanding but keep in mind that I have not at that point there's nothing installed. Um, and that's that's another thing you know we talk about RAM usage on first boot and it's a number that people are interested in but really how relevant is it because are, are you going to keep the system that way no you're not in most cases you're going to add your software you're going to add your your drivers your codecs and so that number is might be decent as a measuring stick but in reality it's not a real uh, usable number because the system is certainly not going to stay that way. CP usage on first boot, wow. Usually I'm getting about seven tenths of a percent. In this case I was about two tenths of a percent. So uh, it, it, CPU usage is pretty pretty much non-existent. NVIDIA it is installed but I had to use the command line uh, using the procedure that I have shown you on other videos let me show you uh, what's what's going on with NVIDIA okay so NVIDIA is the 36744 which is very nice considering uh, you know it's it's Debian testing and so it's going to give you a little bit a little bit newer uh, driver but I wasn't expecting it to be 367 that's excellent okay so let's get back to the numbers now I as I said I installed Nvidia through the command line Broadcom Wi-Fi is working right now I have both Broadcom Wi-Fi working and my Wi-Fi dongle uh, and Ethernet also works but I don't have anything plugged in right now but everything worked fine I did have to install Broadcom through the command line my printer is my brother printer and that is working fine uh, print settings and you can see that's set up as my default printer Netflix is working and that is on uh, Google uh, through S ICE SSB and not only do I have Netflix but I also have Hulu, Amazon Prime and YouTube and again you can set up pretty much any website you like uh, to be uh, on a uh, SSB through the ICE program the default theme is Onyx the default icon theme is Nuove XT2 the font is a Sans 10 there are about 15 wallpapers included. They're in, in a few different folders. Um, let's see if I have the file information on that. And that would be... see they're in user share wallpapers and they're in a few different folders there now one one of the things I noticed that for images you can see there they have images at various de uh, various uh, definitions or de various resolutions and so you can pick the one that matches your your desktop so there are about 15 total in those three folders uh, four icon sets were included and nine themes my the desktop environment I, as I mentioned I, I selected LXDE during the install you can select multiple I only selected the one my window manager is OpenBox. Distro family is Debian. For Office, it installed LibreOffice. I I uninstalled it. Right now, I only have uh, 
Abbey Word and GNumeric. Uh, I tried to install WPS Office, but there is one file, one dependency uh, missing uh, within Debian, and I couldn't install that. So consequently, I couldn't get WPS Office installed. I'm sure if I spent more time, I'd be able to find that uh, dependency and get WPS Office installed. But at this point, there's really no uh, pressing urgency to do that. Okay, and so for gaming, Steam, no problem at all. You can see the icon in my lower left panel. Uh, Battle.net installed using Wine Tricks. That is the easiest way to install Battle.net. I showed you the process in another video and to my surprise it worked perfectly in Debian. It's the first time that that process has worked perfectly in Debian. Usually I have to res resort to adding play on Linux. In this case I did not. Everything worked perfectly. Now, I mentioned that uh, I'm running a dark theme. And uh, let's see. OK, I'm running what's called the orange blue theme. It's a nice dark theme for open box. Uh, boxlook.org has a lot of open box themes that work very nicely in the LXDE desktop environment. Um, all you do is <clears throat> download the zip file, extract it, and move the, move the theme folder to your uh, themes, user share themes directory. Now, there are lots of other themes available as you can see. Uh, there are Fluxbox themes, Window Maker themes. Boxlook.org is a very nice website. Uh, and it is the orange blue theme. So that is basically it, guys. Uh, everything within this Debian testing install works perfectly. It's very, very quick, uh, very responsive. I've got all of the uh, utilities in my system tray that I normally install. It's absolutely perfect. It's a pleasure to use this on a daily basis. So guys, that is it for the video. Uh, Debian testing, two thumbs up. Excellent, excellent. Uh, again, I'll give you the link for the install. It's only 307 megabytes. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.